Hello, and welcome to the first of two Command Expert tutorial videos. Have you ever programmed an instrument? It can be a painful process of finding commands in a programming manual, getting the right syntax, then working through a trial and error process to test the sequence of commands to ensure that you have set up your instrument correctly. That doesn't even include the actual programming time of using your programming language. Keysight's Command Expert software is designed to help you program your instrument with less effort, test the configuration, and export the right commands to a variety of programming languages. In this first video, we look at basic Command Expert functionality to see how the pieces work together and what the tool is capable of doing. In this video, we will highlight the following. An introduction. Let's begin. Creating an instrument. Connect to the instrument. Locate and execute Skippy commands. What if you don't know the command name? Using commands that require special formatting. Playing the sequence. Using variables in your sequence. Add some documentation. And save the sequence. Creating an instrument. Click the New Instrument button at the bottom left corner of the instrument's pane. Command Expert displays the Choose the Instrument Connection Type screen. Here you can select either an actual instrument connected to your host PC, or if you don't have the actual instrument available, you can simulate the instrument and the Command Expert returns default responses. For our example, we'll connect to an actual N9020A MXA signal analyzer. Click Next. Command Expert automatically finds all devices connected to your PC. Select the N9020A MXA Signal Analyzer and click Next. Command Expert searches for related command sets. A command set is a list of commands that you can execute to control an instrument. Select the command set titled X Series Signal Analyzers Spectrum Analyzer Commands A.08.03. Click Next. Optionally, you can enter a name for this instrument, for example, MXA. When you're ready, click Next. Here, Command Expert wants you to confirm the connection information. If everything is correct, click the Add to My Instruments button. Command Expert does four things. First, if the command set is not already installed on your PC, Command Expert downloads and installs the command set from the Keysight Command Expert server. A network connection is required. Second, the Command Expert creates and saves the new instrument definition on your PC. Third, it displays the new instrument's name in the My Instruments section of the instrument's pane. And fourth, it selects the new instrument and displays it in the Instrument Properties pane. Connect to the instrument. Click the Connect button in the Instrument Properties pane for the MXA. If the connection succeeds, Command Expert adds MXA to the active instruments in the Instruments pane and selects it. It displays the MXA's command set in the Command Search pane and adds a Connect step to the Sequence pane to represent the act of connecting to the instrument. Let's take a quick look at the different parts of the Command Expert window. The Command Search pane shows you the command set of the selected instruments and lets you search for commands. The Sequence pane shows the current sequence of steps and lets you edit the steps and replay commands. And the Variables pane shows sequence parameters and local variables and lets you view and edit their names and values. Now let's locate and execute a few Skippy commands in the Command Set tree. In the Command Search pane, Scroll down and select star IDN in the command tree. As you can see in the command pane, star IDN provides instrument identification information, including the instrument model and serial number and its firmware revision. Click the Add Step and Execute button in the command pane to send the star IDN query to the instrument. Command Expert displays the output of the query in the command pane and, and adds a corresponding step to the sequence pane. Next, let's reset the MXA to its power on factory default state. Select star RST from the command tree and click the add step and execute button in the command pane. 
For our example, we need to change the mode of the MXA analyzer. In the command search pane, scroll up and select Instrument Select. If you know the Skippy parameter for the mode you want, you can simply type it in the Select field. Or you can select it from the drop-down menu. For our example, type or select SA for Spectrum Analyzer Mode. Notice that the command pane has two tabs, Command and Query. Command sends a command to the instrument. Query sends the command to the instrument and then reads the response from the instrument. For our example, select the Command tab. Click the Add Step and Execute button. This configures the MXA to the Spectrum Analyzer mode. Now let's configure the MXA for Swept Spectrum Analyzer measurement. Locate and select Configure Sanalyzer from the Command Search pane. This command presets several measurement presets which are listed in the Command pane. Click the Add Step and Execute button. But what if you don't know the command name? You can use the command search pane to search for Skippy commands. At the top of the command search pane is a field for entering command search terms. Next, we'll search for commands to set the start and stop frequencies. Type start frequency in the search box and click the search icon. Command Expert displays a ranked list of search results in the search tab. To select the start frequency, select Sense Frequency Start. This displays the command details in the command pane. In the command pane, enter 88 as a frequency input value. Select megahertz as the units from the drop-down menu. Click the Add Step and Execute button to send the command to the instrument. Similarly, Search for the term stop frequency. Select the command sense frequency stop. Enter 108 as a frequency input value. And select megahertz as the units from the drop down menu. Click the Add Step and Execute button to send the command to the instrument. So far we've seen how to locate and search for commands. The following steps use command completion to navigate to the command Initiate Immediate. Click in the completion box to select the text. Type the letter I. Command Expert displays a list of commands beginning with the letter I. Press the down arrow key on your keyboard to highlight the initiate command. Then press the tab key to choose that command. Command Expert displays a list of possible command completions. Type the letter I to narrow the list of completions. Press the down arrow key to select immediate. Press the tab key to select it. Command Expert displays the initiate immediate command in the command pane. Click the add step and execute button and the MXA makes the measurement. Using commands that require special formatting. So far, we've configured the MXA to make a swept spectrum analyzer measurement, but now we want to retrieve that array of spectrum data. Locate and enter the command query fetch sanalyzer. This query is interesting because it allows the array of data to be returned in one of three different IEEE block data formats. Real32, Real64, or ASCII Real. Select the Query Block Real32 tab in the Command Pane. Because this query provides different data format choices, Command Expert requires additional formatting commands before you can send the query. This is indicated by the yellow Formatting Commands section in the Command Pane. The two commands that it adds are a Skippy Format Trace Data command to specify the format of the trace data for transfer to your PC, and a Skippy format border command to set the binary data byte order for the data transfer. In the yellow formatting commands section, 
click the Add Execute button. This adds the two commands to the sequence. Back in the command pane, enter 1 for the sanalyzer in input. This selects trace 1 to be returned by this query. Click the Add Step and Execute button. Command Expert sends the query and adds a corresponding step to the sequence. Note that the measured spectrum data response is enclosed in square brackets. The square brackets denote an array. Playing the sequence. We have now created a sequence that puts the MXA in its spectrum analyzer mode, sets its frequency range, takes a swept spectrum measurement, and returns the measured spectrum data. We can run the sequence at any time by clicking the play button. In the sequence pane, click the play button. This is the blue triangle to run the entire sequence. Command Expert plays the sequence by performing each step in the sequence. You can monitor progress by watching the green check marks at the left side of the sequence pane. Results of the sweep are displayed in the sequence pane. Using variables in your sequence. In many situations, you need to add flexibility to your sequences. Variables provide that flexibility in two different forms, input and output parameters and local variables. Input parameters let you easily get data into your sequence, especially when used from different programming environments. Input parameters allow you to take outside input and assign it to the value of any of the command or query inputs. Many commands and queries can share a single input parameter. Output parameters let you get data out of your sequence. Any query output can be assigned to an output parameter. Local variables. Local variables allow you to share command and query input and output values inside of a sequence. These local variables are never shared outside of the sequence, but allow data to be moved from one command to another inside of a given sequence. Let's create some input and output parameters and variables. Select step 6 of the sequence, which is the command sense frequency start. Command expert displays step 6 in the command pane so that you can edit it. In the command pane, click the variables button. Command expert displays additional controls to let you use parameters and local variables. In the command pane, select parameter from the use drop down for the frequency input. Notice the informational dialog box that appears telling you that you can't specify a unit, for example megahertz, when using a parameter. You must use the default unit, which in this case is hertz. Click the OK button on the dialog box. Change the name field to Start Frequency. And the value field to 88 million. In the command pane, click the Update Step 6 button. Command Expert opens the Variables pane, showing the start frequency parameter and the value we previously assigned. In the Sequence pane, the Step 6 input value is replaced by the parameter name Start Frequency enclosed in angle brackets. Similarly, modify Sequence Step 7, Since Frequency Stop using the parameter name stop frequency and the value of 108 million. Click the Update Step 7 button. Now, modify ste Sequence Step 12, Fetch Sanalyzer. This time, change the input Sanalyzer in to be a local variable with the name trace the value of 1. Change the output sanalyzer to be a parameter using the name frequency data. Click the update step 12 button. In the Variables pane, change the value of the start frequency parameter from 88 million to 90 million. In the Sequence pane, click the Play button. In the Variables pane, 
verify that the value of the frequency data parameter now starts at 90 million. In the parameters pane, change the value of the start frequency parameter back from 90 million to 88 million. Click the play button again and verify that the frequency data parameter now starts with 88 million. Great! Now let's add some documentation to the sequence. In the sequence pane, enter a name for the sequence such as FM Frequency Sweep in the Name field. Enter a description for the sequence in the Description field. Finally, let's save the sequence. Choose File, Save Sequence As. And use the Save dialog to save the sequence to a file. We will use this file in the second video. Click the X in the Command Expert window title bar to exit or choose File Exit. Congratulations! You now have a working knowledge of Command Expert. You can create sequences to control your instruments remotely without programming. For further information, check the Keysight website at www.keysight.com slash find slash command expert or contact any one of Keysight's many authorized distributors. Keysight's Command Expert simplifies the process of configuring and retrieving measurement data from instruments. It makes it easy to find, use, and view full documentation for SCIPI, IVC, and IVCOM commands, as well as seamless integration with Microsoft Excel, Keysight V, System View, MATLAB, Visual Studio, Python, and LabVIEW.